In this video, given that i n is equal to the integral between 0 and pi of sine x to the power of n dx, show that i n is equal to n minus 1 over n i n minus 2, hence find the integral between 0 and pi of sine to the 6 dx, uh, sine x to the 6 dx. Okay, so first things first, um, this doesn't automatically look like something that we can integrate by parts. Um, we need to write it in another form first. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to write this as i n is equal to the integral between 0 and pi of sine x times sine to the n minus 1 x dx. So now we've got a u and a dv by dx. And we just need to choose which one's going to be the easiest to work with for u. Now remember, u we need to differentiate. So we could differentiate either of them, fine. But integrating this one's going to be a problem. So what we'll do is we'll choose u to be the sine n minus 1. Uh, let me just rewrite that n minus 1 x and we'll have the dv by dx to be the sine x. So du by dx using the chain rule um, you might find it easier to visualize if we write it as sine x to the n minus 1. So the n minus 1's got to come down to the front the derivative of the inside comes outside and we take 1 from the power so sine now to the n minus 2 x and v, integrating sine x, will get us to minus cosine x. So that means that i n is equal to the integral, uh, well, u times v, so minus cosine x, um, I'm going to write it as sine n minus 1 x, I'll write it back in that form between 0 and pi, take away the integral between 0 and pi of v du by dx, so Minus sine, minus sine, so that's going to be plus. Uh, the n minus 1, actually, I can write outside of the integral. I can bring that outside, it's just a constant. Uh, 0 to pi. And I'm going to have cosine squared sine n minus 2 x dx. Now, evaluating this, when I substitute in pi, I'm going to get sine of pi, which is 0. So that'll be 0. Substituting 0, I'll get 0 again. So all of that's 0. So i n is equal to n minus 1 times this integral here. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to replace the cosine squared with 1 minus sine squared. Oh, I've lost the x. Okay, and now I can multiply this out and write it as two separate integrals. So i n is equal to n minus 1 times by the integral between 0 and pi of 1 times that. Take away the integral between 0 and pi of sine squared times that, which is just going to be sine n x dx. Now what I want to recognize here is that that is i n minus 2 and that is i n. So what I've got here is that i n is equal to n minus 1 times by i n minus 2 take away i n. So I'm going to multiply that out. Move that over to the other side. Like so. And now on the left hand side, I've got i n plus n lots of i n take away i n. So I've just got n i n on the left hand side. Divide through by n, and I have the reduction formula that I wanted. Okay? Right. So then, to evaluate this integral here, this is i6, because n is 6. So we're going to have 5 over 6 times by i4. 
which is 5 sixths times pi, well, I4 would be 3 quarters of I2. And I2 would be 1 half of I0. So I've got 5 sixths times by 3 quarters times by 1 half, which is 5 sixteenths of I0. And now sine x to the power of 0 is just 1. So 0 to pi of 1 dx, which is 5 sixteenths of x evaluated between 0 and pi, which is just 5 sixteenths pi. And so that is the value of that integral using the reduction formulae.